a lot of your hats. Let me show you what I got. One hat, put it in. You're not paying tuition, so this is what you get out of it. Good morning, class. It is Professor Hatter welcoming you to a new semester. It is January 15th, 2019. Today is one of the best days of the year for us. Probably the best day of the year for us. It is National Hat Day. So I hope that you are celebrating. I'm sure Lids is having a pretty good sale on something. Actually, to be honest, they're probably just going to do another buy at least $35 and get 30% off. I don't know if it'd be worth it or not. I have some reward money stashed up, so maybe I'll do something. Anyways, it is a new semester. And I'd like to also, wanted to say to any of my Concordia friends watching, good luck this semester. I know you guys started on the 14th. Good luck this semester. I'll see you guys for the spring concert in March sometime. And we're going to start the new semester off trying to get reorganized. I'm sure some of you got new hats over the Christmas break. I got two new hats. I like them both. We're going to go over ways to store and ways to, to display your new hats. I got two different mechanisms or ways to store and display my hats. So we're going to go over that in this video. We're going to get going. But before we do, make sure you like and subscribe to the new class if you haven't already. I'm sure some of you returning students will be familiar with the format of me rambling on and on. And for you new students, good luck. <laughs> Kidding, it's going to be a fun time. Class is in session. Before I get further into the video, uh, new backdrop, wanted my uh, table basement to use for this video. I know I'm blending in with the sheet in the background. It'll be okay. There's not a high production college, so you know, you're not paying tuition, so this is what you get out of it. So enjoy the video. Like I said before, we're going to go over ways to take a lot of your hats and put them into some sort of display on your door, closet door, somewhere in your room, or store them in a box even. And I'll show you a cool kind of box I got from the container store in a minute. So let me show you what I got. So before I get into what I got, a little story from the container store I went to was shopping around looking at a few of the boxes and I took, I had my Blackhawks hat with and putting it in like one of the boxes just to make sure it fit and the first one was kind of snug and I said oh, looking for hat storage. I said yeah, I heard a few YouTube guys who have big hats. I got a little hat display thing that goes over your door, kind of like a hanging hook link. And then I got a shoe box. You're thinking, well, why would I need a shoe box? Well, it fits hats pretty well. So let's start with this guy. I've opened it up already, kind of tried it out. And it's this long hook thing. This is long strap. And it's got a hook for your hat on each. And it'll hang up like that. So it's a pretty simple thing. I just saw it because the guy recommended it to me. It was five bucks. Why not? I'm not the biggest fan of the way my hats are stored on my closet right now they're kind of congested and sometimes when I go to reach in my closet for a shirt or a belt I'll knock off a hat and that gets annoying so maybe just having this nine count hat holder can pop out and uh hold on comes with like little hooks comes with a kit to help hang up your little uh rack here little strip 
can mount it into the wall, I think. Mount it into the door. So, however you like it. Uh, not the biggest fan of these kind of things, but I think being singular and it's all about the spacing, making sure that you can take your hat on and off the hook fast enough. That's why I like to have my big wall of those eight hooks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to one of my previous videos where I'm reorganizing my hat wall. You'll see why it's so much easier to just have hooks. But not all the time you'll have that wall space, so you divert to this on your closet door, your regular door. So I'm going to give this about a 4 out of 5 recommendation just because it's not that clumped up hat rack that you just hang over and they're all squished together. I don't like that. It gets squished and it gets disorganized. So this is a car pack. It was 5 bucks at the container store and uh going to recommend it. So let's go into the box. So let's say you got a bunch of these hats, you know, the flat bill kind that New Era likes to make pretty well. The New Era 5950s, 950s, or whatever kind of flat bill hats you have. You got a bunch of them. And sometimes they're great to store on the wall, maybe on a hook. Maybe a hat bag is not the right place, like I thought it was. It's uh, kind of squishes things a bit. Doesn't keep the structure right. I was watching these guys. It was fitted hat, fitted TV hat. There's a bunch of these uh, fitted club TV. I think it was. There's a bunch of these guys that did like daily, well, weekly shows every day, and watched them a lot in uh, the early fall of 2018. Tuesdays was the Interstate report was my favorite and uh channel went away unfortunately but one of the guys was from pittsburgh and he found a way to properly store or store better your flat bill hats shoe box front loading shoe box it is perfect and especially this kind of size because as i show you we can just Take one hat, put it in. Take a second hat. Oh, this is my, one of my newer hats that my brother got me. University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee, go Panthers. Very nice dry fit Nike hat, really good. So you can fit one of your good hats in here. Nice Broncos hat, really hated how Vic from the Bears uh, went to the Broncos. I was a little uh, distraught. I was uh, confused on what to feel. Hey, the Broncos got a new head coach. Broncos fan. Yay! Bears side. But it was our good defense coordinator. Shit. Anyways. So you can, uh, you know, that's your third hat. Cubby's still making a push for Bryce Harper, but who knows. Hopefully they'll be able to get another one of these World Series hats. Four. Illinois State. Nice uh, Adidas hat. You know, your fifth hat. And of course, you can never have too many Cubs hats, especially if it's a retro classic. Six. And you got to represent your motherland country of Sweden or wherever you're from. Every, everywhere else is fine, but Sweden's better. Seven. Go to Michigan State. Nice green hat. Green's on, green is my favorite color. And uh, Michigan State's doing pretty well with basketball so far. Eight. I know that we're waiting out for the new Star Wars trailer to come out for Episode Nine. Really looking forward to it. It's I think it's going to do better than Infinity Wars or Endgame the, this year. Big fan. Going to go see it when it comes out. Going to wear my Jedi robe. Nine. And then I got my good Utah Jazz. 5950 hat. They had a very, very nice win over the Lakers on Friday night, uh, January 11th. Nice, nice game. 10. And that's how you can fit 10 hats in this shoebox. It's front loading, so it's easy to get to. I mean, you could take the top off, technically, but I, I wouldn't do it. Is it the front loading and you know I would say use this kind of storage for hats you know you're not going to be using 
as often as your regular rotation. Like for me, I'd more put like off-season sport hats in here. Like right now, probably some of my Cubs hats, some of my football hats now because my teams are out. Way to go, Bears. And uh, it's also nice to have that front glass, well, front clear, <laughs> it's not glass. That'd be a big problem then. Front clear door to see your hats. So I would recommend putting about nine, eight to 10 in here. That would be good enough. 10 is kind of pushing it with the uh, the front brim here. Eight to 10 hats will work fine. So this nice shoe box can be found at your local container store or you can order online. This one was about eight bucks, maybe nine, I think. I think it was about nine. Uh, totally worth it. And I'll probably get another one of these. And I'm sure that they're stackable. That's the way they were displayed in the store. So I'm sure having a bunch of these for you hat collectors out there, I mean, you know, even if you have anywhere from like, you know, 10, 50 hats or 400 hats, even though you're at 350 and waiting to open up a bunch of boxes that you've had on back order, Major League hats. Uh, <laughs> I recommend getting th these boxes to uh, better display and store your, really store your hats. All right. All right, class. Thank you for watching this first video of the new semester. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, try to see if you can uh, do your homework, be a good student, leave a like below. Subscribe if you haven't. If you're a new student, please click that subscribe button. It's a free class. It's a free gateway to... Uh, hats. Uh, this semester my goal is to do better with talking about just hats in the video. One of my uh, top critics uh, pointed that out to me. I appreciate the feedback. So, so hope you go out and get some new ways to store and display your hats. Follow me on Twitter, ProfHatter57. Twitter and Instagram. Share with me the way you display your hats. How many hats do you have already? How many hats are you going to get in 2019? I'm going to be looking to get quite a few. And it's already, what, January 15th? And I haven't ordered a new hat. That's a problem. So maybe next video, we'll fix that. Thank you again for watching. As always, hats off to you. Class dismissed. Hello there, fellow YouTube viewer. I'm glad that you took the time to watch my video. That's about 10 minutes of your life you won't get back, so I'm glad I was the one to waste it. While you're wasting time and brain power, might as well click that like button and that subscribe button if you already haven't. I'd really appreciate it. Trying to grow my YouTube empire won't be much, but hey, we're in double digit territory for subscribers. We're getting somewhere. Thanks for watching.